Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your third-party domain to your Shopify store. So let's say maybe you've bought a domain from GoDaddy, Namecheap or wherever and you want to connect it to your Shopify store. You're going to see how you can do that in this video. I will be using Cloudflare for this. So why I'm using Cloudflare? Cloudflare is because it's just easy to use and it will be a much easier process for you to change your DNS settings using Cloudflare instead of using your, your domain provider. So Cloudflare is free to use and this is what we will be using for our DNS burden. I like to call it DNS burden. So we're going to use this for all our, for all our DNS burden. We're going to use Cloudflare. Regardless of whatever your domain was bought from, you're going to use Cloudflare and I'm going to show you how you connect, how to connect your domain with Cloudflare. Cloudflare is the number one DNS provider. If I'm not wrong, most people actually use Cloudflare. So let's go back to Shopify and I'm going to come here under online store and then I will go into domains and I want to connect the domain here. So you see here, you can buy a new domain, you can transfer domain to Shopify or you can connect an existing domain. It's probably preferable for you to connect your domain from a third party platform because you never know maybe someday you won't be using Shopify and you you don't want to go through the hassle of transferring again so let's just click here on connect existing domain and I'm going to connect this domain let me connect this domain next okay so I can do this first or I can connect it to Cloudflare first whichever one but first, let's just connect it to Cloudflare. So just create an account, okay? It's free to create. Create an account, sign up with your email address. Sign up, you can see I'm already signed up and it has automatically logged me in. So I can add a site. So let me click here to add a site. If you already had web, if you already have a Cloudflare account and you want to add more website, you can just click up there to add a site or you can choose whichever site somewhere up here you're going to have the option to choose a site once you have them now i'm going to click on add site and i will paste this paste in the domain that you want to add so what cloudflare is going to do is going to try to pull in all the details that are currently being used by that domain so the dns records for it are going to be pulled into cloudflare so we want to use the free plan there there you go just click on this one zero and then continue so they're going to scan that domain and it's going to pull in all the did all the records that it currently has on on namecheap are going to get pulled here but actually i don't need all of them all these records i don't need them because i want to use I want to use Shopify for this. So the reason I'm telling you to actually use Cloudflare is that in future, maybe you buy hosting from somewhere, you buy mail hosting from somewhere, you can just come in here and, and add them easily. It's a very easy thing to use. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to change this DNS records. But before we do that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into Namecheap and change the name server. So it's that simple. The only thing that Namecheap is going to have or wherever your domain is hosted will be the name servers for this. So I really don't need any of this okay i can delete all of them i don't need oh i see that it had already pulled them i tried to create it back there i don't need any of this i can just delete them let me just forget about this forum for now but i'm going to click here on continue but i need to delete all of this i don't need them so the next process and this is the only Thing that you need to do on Namecheap or wherever your domain is hosted this is the only thing okay so once you get here the next step is for you to add the Cloudflare name servers and that's all you have to do okay just click copy the name servers from here the Cloudflare name servers and then add that wherever your domain is being hosted change the name servers so just find out where you can change the name servers on your platform and they will probably be somewhere it will probably be somewhere around there just find them on your on the provider you're using so for me on namecheap i'm just going to say i want to use custom dns and i'm going to use the name servers from namecheap from cloudflare i'm going to copy the second one and i will paste in the second one right there and then i'm going to save that 
and as soon as I do this I may need to give it some time for it to propagate on the internet for the internet to register this but I can just come in here and once I add the make sure you add the Cloudflare name servers okay these are the Cloudflare name servers once you do that just click on check the name servers and forget about that we don't need that and then I'm going to finish later all of that Let's just check once again to see if the name servers have already propagated. Let's click on check name servers. Cloudflare is now checking the name servers for that. And once it confirms that the name servers that it has are the same, once it identifies that the name servers are this, then now you can change all your DNS records. You can change them right here on Cloudflare. And even if you move your domain, even if you stop using Shopify, you can just come in here and change the DNS settings once again, provided your domain is still being hosted on Namecheap. So wherever your domain is hosted, the only thing you need to do over there is change the name servers. And then once you do that, you can come in here and change the DNS records. And that's what you want to do for Shopify so that it can record so that the DNS records that are being shown here will show the ones for Shopify. So just come in here under DNS and what I need to do here is I need to add an A record. So I'm going to delete all of this. I don't need this ones. So in future, if you do buy mail hosting from somewhere else, you can just come into, you can just come in here and add the records that you're given. And that will make sure that your mail is hosted appropriately. So right now I believe it's still propagating just to identify that these are the these are the name servers being used. So first let's come in here and I'm just going to click here on verify connection. So once you click on add a domain, you can even edit the domain that you want to add there and then click next and then verify connection. What you need to do is we need to create a CNAME record and we need to create an A record and these are very easy to create on Cloudflare. So this we all we're going to add both of these on Cloudflare and I'm going to copy the IP address. We need to add an A record. An A record basically tells the internet visitor where to direct the domain to. So it will be redirected to this IP address. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to add an A record and I need to add an A record and I'll use at. I will use the at and this basically replace it, replaces it with my root domain, which in this case is that. So instead of typing this, just type at, and it's going to be the same as typing that. And then I'm going to add the IP address here, and then I'm going to paste it. And that's pretty much it for this. I'm going to click and save. So, so the problem that you're having is that it is still not Cloudflare has still not recognized. Okay, Cloudflare. Cloudflare is now connected. Good. Now I will come back here and let me just refresh. So once the site is connected, I can add an A record, add a record, and I will add an A record and I will use at and then the IP address there. So if it tells us again that it cannot do that, we're just going to disable that. Let me save and I will uncheck that and then I will save. And once I do that, you can see now, you can see now that the IP address is being, the IP address is being redirected here. So if people visit this website, it will redirect them to this IP address on Shopify. And I still need to add, which one is that? I still need to add the CNAME record and the CNAME record the CNAME record goes here so there let's add let's add another record and this time around we want to add a CNAME record CNAME record CNAME record is just like an a redirect so if people go to www press.com is going to take them to myshops.com and myshops.myshopify.com is going to redirect them to the correct site. So I will save that.
and this one as well cannot be proxied so i'm just going to save so i don't know right now if i visit this if it's going to take me to shopify go okay this one's probably going to take a while just give it some time but the most important thing is that now you've done it right okay that's all you need to do to to take your shopify that's all you need to do to connect Shopify with a third party domain. Make sure you're using Cloudflare because Cloudflare because Cloudflare is Cloudflare is very easy to use and it makes your work much easier. So you see, as soon as I do that, you can see now my domain is connected and that's what you needed for this video, how to connect your Shopify domain with a third party domain. So it's very advisable for you to have your domain somewhere else other than on Shopify. Because you never know, maybe you won't be using Shopify forever. You may be moving to something else. Maybe you may decide to move to WordPress. You may decide to move to Squarespace, whatever. And that's just one of the reasons why I decided to show you how you can connect your third party domain. And in this video, I've shown you how you can connect it using Cloudflare. So just a recap, what you need to do, first of all, connect your domain. First of all, create an account on Cloudflare. And then under Cloudflare, add your, add your site. I've shown you how to add your site. And then take the take this name servers that Cloudflare is going to give you. And those name servers, take them to whatever platform you're using. Whether you're using GoDaddy, any other, any other domain provider that you're using, just take the Cloudflare name servers. Please note that it's name servers, not DNS. Okay. The name servers, you can change your name servers, any platform, wherever you bought your domain from, there will always be a way for you to change your name servers. So add the two name servers that Cloudflare provides you. And then as soon as you do that, you go back to, you go back to Cloudflare and then here under DNS, you add the A record, you add the A record that you'll get from Shopify. So if you come back here under Shopify, remember that I said, Remember where I clicked on to get to this page, okay? Once you click on that, make sure you get the correct IP address, which is this. You add the A record of that using the at on, on Cloudflare. And then you also add the CNAME record using that and that as you did here, okay? So you can see this is what we did here. And make sure you uncheck the proxy. Proxy. I think apparently for Shopify, they cannot proxy that. So you just need to uncheck those to add them. Remember that. And that's pretty much it. So in future, maybe if you do buy like mail hosting from somewhere else and you want to connect it, all you have to do is come here under Cloudflare, click on add record. And what you're going to do is you're going to come here and the records that you're given, you'll add them normally for normally for for email records, you'll probably be MX records. The MX records that you're given, you're given, just come in here and add them, the mail server and all, click save and that's it. So that's pretty much it. And in this video, you've learned how you can use Cloudflare and Shopify to set up your domain on your Shopify store. So that's it for this video. If you do have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. If it's still not showing up for you, you saw that for me to actually get it to show up correctly for me, it was I had to use I had to use the Opera browser, which comes with a VPN. So just try a different location because the internet propagation takes different times. Okay. It takes a while for it to, to propagate in different locations. So for me, I saw that in Europe, Europe, the Cloudflare servers automatically works much faster there. That's something I found the ones for Europe. And then you can also see if you're in Asia, just try Asia. Maybe your location will be. IP address will have propagated by then. Propagation is basically just updating the servers, the databases on the internet. Okay, so that's what propagation is. That's why you're usually told that it takes a while for this to happen. Okay, so once you add them correctly, don't worry about it. Just give it a, some time and it will propagate. As long as you do everything as I've shown you, as I've shown you, it's going to work correctly. So once you've set up everything correctly, just come in here and click on verify again and let's see if the verification is going to be successful. Now it's still saying that the verification cannot happen but that's probably because it needs to propagate and that's just what I told you. In this case what I can do I can just click there add domain so you can see here that we have set up the domain and it's still not propagated. So just give it time, okay? 
So let's go back to domains, give it time to propagate. As soon as it tells you that it is connected, you can come in here and you can you can manage the domain URL however you want to. Okay. If you want to remove the domain, you can also remove the domain right there. And you can also change the primary domain. So as soon as your domain is as soon as your domain is active, just come in here and change the primary domain and click there to save. Okay. So make sure you do this once your domain has been has been connected and it is shown as connected. Just verify is coming here and make it there. Come here and change it to the primary domain. You probably want to use the one without the www. So all right, that's pretty much it for this video again. And I hope that it, it will help you connect your Shopify with your third party domain.